Many are the blessings that you gave unto me. Blessings overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you for your love for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Many of the blessings that you gave unto me. Blessings overflowing like the mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you for your love for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. I want to thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Greetings, everybody. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome to you all, brethren. Just going to give God all the glory this morning. It's the 31st of December, and I'm so thankful and so grateful that I'm here today just to be able to celebrate and just give God thanks for his many blessings throughout the year. We're going to begin our service this morning. Um, but before we begin, I just want to greet Bishop Williams and Sister Sonia in the absence. Greetings to Reverend George, Reverend Sadie, Reverend James, and greetings to you all this morning. If you've got any visitors in the house this morning, greetings and thank you to our musicians that are here this morning. We give God all the glory this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So we're going to begin our service this morning. Just invite the rest of the worship team to come this morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. You are our hearts, one desire, thirsty for you, thirsty for you. You are our hearts, one desire. Only you can satisfy, only you can satisfy. You are our hearts, one desire, thirsty for you, thirsty for you. You are our hearts, one desire, only you can satisfy, only you can satisfy. You are our hearts, one desire, thirsty for you, thirsty for you. You are our hearts, one desire, only you can satisfy, only you can satisfy. Dwell here, dwell here, move whatever's in your way, whatever took your place. Dwell here, dwell here, move whatever's in your way, whatever took your place. 
And I'll provide the sacrifice. If you pour out, you provide the spirit. And I will open up inside. If you provide, Lord, you provide the fire. And I'll provide the sacrifice. You provide the spirit. And I will open up inside. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Until I overflow, I 
wanna run over. I wanna run over. Fill me up until I overflow. I wanna run over. I wanna run over. Hallelujah. Speak the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus Your name Your name is power Your name is healing Your name Shadows burn like a fire. I just want to speak. I just want to speak the name of Jesus till every dark addiction starts to break. Declaring there is hope. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom, I speak Jesus. Your name, Lord. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over fear and all anxiety. Over fear and all anxiety. Every soul to every soul and cast in by depression. I speak Jesus. Your name. Your name is power. Yeah. Your name is healing. Your name is power. Yeah. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Your name is power. Your name is Your name 
Lord Jesus. Shout Jesus on the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Shout Jesus, shout Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. We shout your name. Shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Shout Jesus, shout Jesus. Jesus on the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. For your name. Your name is healing. Your name is life. You break every stronghold. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows. The light, the fire. Your name, your name. Your name is power. Your name, your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. I just want to speak name of Jesus, over every heart and every mind, because I know there is peace within your presence, I speak Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Greetings to you all again this morning. I greet those watching us this morning on YouTube. Thank you for choosing to worship with us this morning. I'm just going to invite Brother Kenneth now to come and read this morning's scripture for us, which will be taken from John 1, verses 1 to 17. And after that, can I ask Reverend Sadie if she could just pray? After Brother Ken has read the scripture this morning. Thank you. Good morning, church. I'm just going to read from the book of John, chapter 1, chapter one verse 1 to 17. Read from the New King James Version. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the, light, and the life was the light of men. 
and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, his name was John. This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He was to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among, among us. And we be beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is, pre is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness we have all received, and grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Can we say amen to the reading of the word? Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Thank you, Brother Kenneth, for reading the scripture for us. I was going to ask Reverend Said if she could come and pray this morning. Please be upstanding in the presence of the Lord. Father, once more, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the word. Thank you for the word that brings light into our darkness this morning. Thank you, Father God, that you have blessed us. You have revealed the light through us, to us through your Son, our Lord and our Savior. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you said, I will go when no one else would stand in the gap. You said, I will go to set them free. And we thank you, O oh Lord God, for the love, the love which we cannot understand, which has shed such a great light upon us to bring us out of the darkness. And this morning, Father God, I hope and pray that you will let that light shine into every heart that is before you at this time. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your word, your word, your word, which is life. Your word, which is truth, your word, which is everlasting, and that word, which is love, that you are the way. Father, we pray and we ask that you will look favorable upon us this morning and bless us. Open the heart of everyone here this morning to receive from you whatsoever, oh Father God, you have to reveal to us this morning. May we at we come with a receptive heart and may the word find fertile soil to be planted that Lord it will take deep root and oh God it will produce fruit such fruit that will be healthy that others will come and taste and see that you are good Father, thank you for everyone here this morning. Thank you for your graciousness. Father, bless the moderator, anoint her from her head to her toe. Pour out abundant blessing on her and her family this time because we're asking it, Lord, that all things that will be done in this place will be orderly, Father God, and your spirit will have the ultimate control. We thank you for your presence. We praise you. We speak your holy name. And we speak your name over our families. We speak it on the street. We speak it in the shadows. Because, oh God, the light will thereby shine. So we thank you and look to you to have your way among us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, Reverend Sadie. Bless the Lord. We're going to be blessed now by um, a song from Sister Kamek this morning. And after we've had um, a song from Sister Kamek, and Sister Sonia could prepare herself to give the notices, please. Thank you.
Greetings, church. Happy belated Christmas. Draw me, my Savior, so precious thou art. Fold me, O fold me close to thy breast. Shelter me safe in that heaven of rest. Shelter me safe in that heaven of rest. Never still near for nothing I bring. Not as I know, friend to Jesus, my King. Only my sinful now contrite heart, grant me thy cleanse. In thy blood doth impart. Grant me thy blessing. In thy blood doth impart. Never still never to be thine. Sin with the foe, is I gladly resign. All of his pleasure from on the prime. Give me but Jesus as the one crucified. Give me but Jesus, my Lord, crucified. Never, still never, while life shall last, till all its strong. Wills and trials are past. Then through eternity ever I'll be. Never my Savior, still never to thee. Still never to thee, never my God to thee, never to thee.
that tries it me. Still, all my song shall be near of my God to be near my God to be near to be to the cross where the last draw me near 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 blessed lord to thy precious bleeding son if you could just stand and just sing this Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the cross where Thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to Thy prayer. Sister Sonia is going to come now with the announcements and after that we'll be worshipping, giving. So if you could just prepare your offerings as you listen to the notices, please. Thank you. Good morning, church. You all well this morning? Praise the Lord. Good to see Sister Lynette back. We've also got our brother Amar. And our brother and sister from Tipton. So it's good to see you all back. Praise God. Just please bear with us while we give the notices this morning. Um, Just to remind you that our watch night service begins this evening. And it's an in-person meeting. It will start at 9 p.m. So our watch night service this evening begins in person here at 9 p.m. We will be... be be resuming weekday meetings starting with Bible studies on Tuesday the 2nd of January at 7.30 p.m. and asking the question for the month, Who Am I? Push prayer will commence on Wednesday the 3rd of January with a now later start time of 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. and will continue each Monday, when, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and the first and last Saturdays of each month. Our women's discipleship ministries will resume next Wednesday. I believe it's Wednesday the 10th of January. So please watch out for notices regarding that. The 21 days of fasting and prayer for January will commence with the PUSH team on Saturday the 6th of January 2023 from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Week commencing Sunday, this is continuing for our 21 days of fasting and prayer. Week commencing Sunday, the 7th of um, January, will be our women's department and they will be taking the lead. Week 
week commencing Sunday the 14th, we'll see the evangelism and men's department in charge. A week commencing Monday the 22nd of January, the youth department will be facilitating, concluding with our push prayer team. There will be a district united service and communion on Sunday the 28th of January, starting at 6pm at NTCG Dudley. The prayer schedule will be posted with timings attached for the month. For any of those ladies, just a reminder, if you are going to youth, to youth retreat, yes, that would be nice if you could go to youth retreat, to our ladies' retreat, please speak to our sister Sonia Williams. Um, and we understand that final payments for those, if you are attending, are at the end of this month. Again, we'll post that information. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you so much for those notices. We're going to prepare ourselves to give now. So if you could just prepare your offerings and the ushers. I'm just going to invite the worship team to come. And then following that, I'm going to invite Bishop Williams, if you could just come and pray for the morning speaker, which will be Reverend George this morning. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord Rise among us, let the praises of our King rise among us, let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord, let the glory of the Lord rise among us, let the glory of the Lord rise among us, let the praises of our King let it rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord, let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. And let the joy of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh.
Bishop Williams, if you could just come and pray for this morning's offering and for the, um, the word this morning. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Before I pray, come on. Liven up yourself. We are here to worship, aren't we? Liven up yourself. Amen. It's Christmas. We are here to celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ. Liven up yourself. Hallelujah. We are here to worship him. Come on, before I pray, let us give him praise and worship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. I know time is going, but come on, come on. This is the house of God. We enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. For this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Yes, I know you have eaten a lot over the Christmas, but yes, we can still praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't let the devil press you down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Come on, let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we cast down every low spirit now, and we pray that thou will lift up our spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be joy and rejoicing in the house of God. We thank you for your people today. We thank you that we are alive. We are in the land of the living. And Lord, while we have breath in us, we will praise you. We thank you for the offering right now. Thank you for your people and their generous giving. I pray that you'll increase them. That the anointing of God will be upon them. The power will be released upon them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, for your precious holy word i pray you will speak expressly by your spirit god in the mighty name of jesus let there be a mighty explosion in zion right now lay your hands upon everyone stir up our spirit lord lift up our spirits and let there be joy in the house of the lord i pray that you'll touch the speaker right now Breathe upon him right now. Breathe upon the musicians, the worship team. Lord, release life in this place. Release life because you are life. You're the God who gave life. And, and we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will do something special among us. Lord, we're in your presence. And in your presence, oh God, miracles can happen. Signs and wonders can happen in the name of Jesus. So, Father, just take everything in charge right now as we give you glory, as we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While the speaker is coming, hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey. My God is good, oh. Hey, my God is good, oh. Hey, my God is good, oh. Everything a double, double. My God is good, oh. Everything a double, double. My God is good, oh. Yeah. My double, double. Everything a double, double. Yeah. My God is good, oh. Come on, check this. My God is good, oh. My God is good, oh. My God is good, oh. Not double, double. Not double, double. Everything are double, double. Not double, double. Everything are double, double. Not double, double. Everything I double, double. Not double, double. Not double, double. Everything I double, double. Not double, double. Everything I double, double. Praise God. We worship the Lord. Bless the Lord. Our God is good hope. And whether it's New Year's Eve or in the year, praise the Lord, God is good all the time. And we thank God for his blessed son, Jesus. As I get to be a Christian, 
God is sweeter in my life than when I started. I didn't know that anything could beat what I felt when I was baptized with the Holy Ghost. But it is now. Because praise God, the Spirit of God is in me. And it's making me alive more than ever before. Praise God. I, I wouldn't say I'm going to take off. You know, that was the old saying in some, some old testimonies. But praise God, the indwelling spirit of God, the spirit of life, the spirit of holiness, the spirit that makes a connection. Praise God. Jesus is in me and Jesus is in you. And Jesus will be in you as well, those who do not know him. Praise God. And we give him thanks as we sit on the, at the door of a new year. Praise God. We glorify God because... <clears throat> As we know, God our Father is outside of time. He's eternal. No new year for God. Praise God, just eternity. And one day, you and I will share in that blessedness when we too will be with him forever. So we go towards another year and I wish I could say it will be great for you. I wish you all well and I wish our visitors, our viewers from the... Um, the, you know, internet. All the best for the new year, brethren. Joyful, triumphant, happiness, glory. Praise God and may you prosper as we should do. Praise be unto God. Looming in the darkness, though, something or someone is trying to spoil it. But we believe in positive, we believe in joy, we believe in happiness. That God has got a good year for us. Say, let's say together, a good year for us. Dispel the darkness. Dispel all the, you know, the question marks. Praise God. And we give God the glory and the praise. Let me just start where I should do. Greetings to Bishop and Sister Williams. Greetings to my fellow ministers, Reverend James and Reverend Sadie. Praise the Lord. And if there are any other ministers in the house. Greetings to the musicians. Greetings to the church leaders leaders of the choir the youth leader sister chanel and sister andrea the ladies leaders praise god the choir, all of you choir leaders everybody must come praise god and drink from the fountain sister calmin who does such a wonderful job with the food bank all year without pay just a volunteer praise be unto god the worship leaders all year without pay, just another volunteer. All of you who contribute and make this church so successful, such a light in the community, such a help, even to me. Your generosity, I cannot repay. Your smiling faces, I have a picture of it in my mind, but I cannot pay you. But I can say to all of you who send me lovely texts and Messages of encouragement. God bless you. Your generosity is noted. Your kindness, your joyfulness, your happiness helped to spur me on. And I was so blessed to see the young people singing. You know, I call them Sister Sonia's little angels. You know, that were singing here this morning and glorifying God. Doesn't it make a difference in your life? When Jesus comes in and dispels the darkness, praise be unto God. Yes, I listen to Radio 1 and I listen to some of the music channels. But when this man, Jesus, comes in, it's a different music that he gives us. It's a different tune that we dance to. And tonight, today, praise God, on the cusp of a new year, we're dancing, my God, to the tune of the Holy Ghost and fire let us glorify god let us give god thanks praise the lord we give god thanks i'm gonna pray praise the lord that um maybe this weakness i'm feeling will not take over and cause me to cut short the word of god praise god as we all bow and just support in prayer heavenly father we worship you i worship you i give you thanks lord for jesus christ my God, the author of fi and finisher of my fate, the captain of my salvation. 
Praise God, the one who has brought many sons into glory. Praise God. I worship you, Lord. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for saving me. Father, as I'm about to deliver your word, which has been laid on my heart by the Holy Spirit, I thank you, my God, that you have not left me as an orphan. You have not left me fatherless. You are with me all the time, my God, in front of your people, and even more importantly, when nobody's there. Oh, God, you put it in my heart not to sin against you, not to transgress, not to commit iniquity, but to be true, my God, to be joyful, to be happy. So this morning, Lord, as I'm delivering your word, give me strength, remove the weakness, remove the bodily, my God, inabilities, Father, and fill me with your strength. Lord, praise your name forever. Open the word, my God. Importantly, Lord, open the word of the hearers, that they will hear the word of God, not my word, but the word of God coming from the throne of God. And it will help them, my God. Father, as we move on the eve of a new year, we give you thanks, Lord. Even that we are here, my God, and by your grace we'll go through. Father, it's been long, it's been dark, my God, and our strength have even failed us. But Lord, you have brought us through. Father God, we remember those who are not well, those in hospital, those, my God, who are bereaved. And Father, you know the family, you know the families around in the churches that have been bereaved. And this time, my God, a time of joy and happiness for some, my God, is marked by others, by sadness. But Lord, we pray that you will take them in your hand. And Father God, you will be a comfort to everyone. Those on the internet, those here, those who hear the word, and those who don't hear the word, Father God, we pray that, oh God, you will comfort the sad, the lonely, and those, my God, who have fallen down. Lift them up as we give you thanks. As we go into your word, we say thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Praise be unto God, somebody. Praise the Lord. Our title that's laid on my heart with a bit of thinking, praise Lord, it didn't come to me easy this title this time. Jesus Christ, life, light, and in him there is no darkness at all. This wonderful script, this is wonderful title and the scripture that goes with it has been, thank you, Reverend Ralston has been on my heart for some time and because of time and I've been reminded of the time so I don't go on but bear with me for about 40 minutes it's Christmas time the season and everybody's got so much to do but the word of God is important we'll go straight into word in the beginning the word already existed this might be a little bit different because it's from the New Living Translation in the beginning, the word already existed. The word was with God, and the word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him. And nothing was created except through him. The word gave life to everything that was created. And his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness... And the darkness can never extinguish it. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. John himself was not that light. He was simply a witness to tell about the light. The one who is the true light who gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He came into the very world he created, but the world did not recognize him. He came to his own people, and even they rejected him. But to all who believe him and accept him, he gave them the right to become children of God. They were reborn, 
not with physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. So the word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. Praise God. Let me just put something in here. One of the things the Holy Spirit has been really, really pushing and teaching me and Jesus, that Jesus is the Son of God. That is his title. And it's taken some time because I've gone and looked at the name of Jesus, a bright and morning star, wonderful counselor, God. <clears throat> I've called him so many names. I, I, I didn't seem to be settled on, on a name and a title. And the Holy Spirit, praise God, like all of you preachers, has been very, very insistent that I recognize and know and pronounce the proper title for Jesus, God's son. <clears throat> he's God, but he's not God the Father. He's the, the son of God. And his position, he's the word. Praise God. He's the light of men. And he's seated on the right hand of God at this moment. What is he doing up there? Praise God. Sometimes we get... A kind of false impression. We think of God as a grey-headed man. Like a granddad or a great-granddad with kind eyes. And, you know, nice hands, soft hands. But praise be unto God. Oh, glory to God Almighty. The Bible said he's making intercession. Even now, he's praying to the Father. For you and for me. Praying that we come through. Praying, pray God. <clears throat> that the darkness does not cover us. The Bible said the darkness could not overcome. As we're going into a new year, I was asking, Lord, what shall I say? <clears throat> I have done the crossover into Jordan, and I was thinking of going back on that and doing crossover too. But the Spirit said, praise God, there is darkness covering the land. In spite of when you go down New Street and Birmingham, or Manchester, and you see all these wonderful illuminated showroom on the front of the shop store, and it, the high street, and the town center, and the houses look nice with the fairy lights and the wreaths, and if you go in, it's a place <clears throat> of happiness. But there is a spiritual darkness behind the light, and that light darkness He's threatening the world <clears throat> to bring the world back down into spiritual despondency. Darkness covers the land. We read in, in um, Genesis 1 that God created the heaven and the earth. And the first thing that God did, the first word out of God's mouth was, Let there be light. Hallelujah. Because there was a darkness, thank you. <clears throat> there was a darkness pervading <clears throat> in our lives across the world. Now, let me just do, make a little announcement here. Yes, the darkness was not an optical darkness necessarily. We are, if I turn off the lights in here, young ones, you will say it's dark, Brother George. You will say, switch on the light because that's what we're used to in our mental thinking and our brain but there is a darkness above and beyond optical, physical light, uh, darkness darkness is just the absence of light in the natural sense but I'm talking now about a spiritual darkness oh glory unto God Lord help me to Remember and to put the words out that you want me to put out. The darkness I'm talking about is why so many millions of children are aborted. The darkness I'm talking about is why there is so much murder. Why you can't leave your house unlocked. The darkness I'm talking about 
<coughs> is what happened on October the 7th in Israel when evil men went and massacred hundreds of people. The darkness I'm talking about is a war that's going on in Ukraine and in uh, Israel at the moment. The darkness you know, I'm talking about is not necessarily um, <coughs> countrywide, but it's in us. The darkness is in the people's heart of darkness, darkness. Praise be unto God, a man or a woman will see you and hate you for no reason, but they don't like how you look. <clears throat> God said though, let there be light. And so entered Jesus into the world. Praise God. The word of God said, God created everything through him. And nothing was created except through him. The word gave life to everything that was created. His life brought light to everyone. His word, praise God, his life brought light. We're talking not about uh, what, let, what, what does physical light consist of. I love science and I love physics. And I remember from even now, my school physics teacher saying, light was like little packets, pockets or packages of energy. And I've, last night I checked it out and light is like, they say it's... Um, protons i've got it written down somewhere but just believe me and it's an electromagnetic ma magnetic wave that's what physical light is but spiritual light is the absence of the spirit of god it is what satan oh god created when satan said to the woman hath god said darkness came into the world brethren blessed one you might think that it's your thoughts that making you question your Christianity, that making you question, why am I going through this? I can spend my money as I want to. I can do what I want to. Nothing wrong with doing this or playing here or playing away from home if I'm married. Oh, I will keep my family well looked after. But it's the darkness of Satan, a spiritual darkness that the enemy is trying to put over you. But I can tell you the good news. Jesus came and he said, I am the light of the world. Praise the Lord. If any man will follow me, he will not walk in darkness. How are you finding that your steps are getting dark? Darkness is covering you. Oh, you, you used to come to church with joy and a testimony. Now you come with a throne and with your feet facing backward because you want to get away from the place. It's a ritual. Well, Jesus came, brethren, to break the ritual of the law which said you must come to church on Sunday. It is written down that you must come to church on Sunday, read the Bible and go back home and said that was an awful service. Jesus came, praise God, to say, I'm the light of joy. I'm the light that makes you lively. Oh, praise be unto God. This day as we go into a new year. Oh, praise be unto God. He's saying, yes, the darkness is in the new year. The darkness is in time. The darkness is in, in the enemy. But I am the light of the world. Praise be to God. He has not left us in darkness. We glorify God. There was an apostle called Paul. He was a ritualistic man, ritualistic man. He believed in the law. He loved God as he thought. And he was persecuting all the new Christians who believed in Jesus. Because that's what he believed in. It was old fashioned. But that's what he was brought upon. But one day, praise God, as he was going down to Damascus, going down on the road, Oh, yes, Lord. He was traveling with a band of soldiers. I would call them thugs, but that's me. And they were marching down together to persecute God's children. Christians who were praying. Christians who were fasting. Christians who were praying that the light of God 
would stop the persecution. The light of God would shine in the hard heart of the Pharisees. The men were called out to triumph the name of God. As Paul was going down, you know, in his pomp and pride, just like we do. You know, we might come to church for a bit. Oh, we come and we attend a ritualistic service. But our mind is on the party afterwards. Our mind is on what we are going to do in our own self. And as Paul was traveling, he later testified before King Agrippa. Lord, he said, King Agrippa, it was about midday. It was a time when the sun was at its zenith. The sun was as bright and the Middle Eastern sun, if you go <coughs> over to the Middle East, you know how hot it is and how bright the sun is. The sun was at its peak. He said, King Agrippa, when he was explaining his conversion, he said, I, I saw a light. It was brighter than the sun in its strength. It was brighter than our universe sun. It was brighter than our sun in its power. And you know the science of our son. But praise God. He said, when I saw the light, I saw the light. Praise God. John, in that verse, in verse 9 said, The one who is the true light. I've taken a little bit of time to tell you about darkness and physical darkness. And about the sun's light. And if you look at these bulbs, you'll find them discharged lamps and LED lamps and incandescent lamps and all sorts. And you have the candles and you have all the artificial light. And these are all light. But Jesus is the true light. Hallelujah. Glorify God. Because, brethren, we would not have a chance if it was for these lights. Praise God for the true light. John said, John himself was not that light. He was simply witness to tell about the light. The one who is the true light. Now, brethren, <coughs> I'm not going to keep you much longer. But I want you to know something today. I want to leave on your heart something today. Musicians, did I mention that you are very precious to us? Praise be unto God. You, you set our mood right when we're worshiping God. So that we rock and move in the spirit and in the light. <coughs> the Bible said, the one who is the true light. May I introduce him to somebody this morning. May I introduce the true light to somebody who is not quite aware of the Son of God. Oh, my great brethren, the true light is Jesus Christ. Paul said, I saw him. I met him. I rendezvoused with him on the Damascus Road. And I found myself on my back when I saw the true light. Brethren, you cannot see the true light and continue in your own passion, in your own way, in your own sin, and having your own thought. When Paul saw the light, when the light permeated his beam, when it went through him like an x-ray, and he showed Paul, Paul, this is who you are. You are full of corruption. You are going to hell. You are lost in God's house. You are lost as a minister. You do not know God. You need to come down of the halls and see the true light of God. Your pomp and your pride is bringing you down to hell. Paul said, I saw the light. I felt the light. The light changed me. Brethren, I wish I had the energy. I wish I had the poetry. I wish I had the word to convince you that the true light is still shining through the scripture, through the Holy Ghost, witnessing to us this moment. Praise be unto God, brethren. Oh, praise God. You ask me, Brother George, how can I be in church? How can I hear these chorus? How can I see these young ones singing and testifying of the goodness of God since their baptism? How can I hear the Holy Spirit people speaking in tongues and I be in darkness yes this is where Satan wants to start yes in Zechariah in the Old Testament we read Joshua the high priest was making sacrifice to God he was doing God's work and oh my Lord he had a dirty garment on him 
Yes, he was unrighteousness was on the man of God. And guess what? And guess who was standing right next to him? Right in the presence of God. Right in the house of God. Satan was at his right hand. At the side, the place of power. Satan was there manifesting himself. Stopping the worship. Holding the man of God back. Holding his praise back. Holding his testimony back. Hindering and covering his preaching. And the Lord said, Satan, I rebuke you, dark forces of hell. What is stopping your light? Why can't you see the true light? As we go to another year, many have put out their stalls, pray God, and it does not include the true light. I'm not going to stand here and say I'm going to spoil your fun. I'm going to spoil your joy. I'm going to spoil your union and your unity and fellowship with your brethren, with your family, with your husband, with your wife, with your children, and they celebrate the new year. Praise God. The first miracle that Jesus did was a wedding where he turned water into wine. No, some people have a lot of problem with that and say it was new wine and it didn't really have time to mature and this and you know uh, necessary wine don't mean alcohol is in it and all sorts but jesus joined in the mint he joined in the fun i believe he had a good drink of the grapes that he had made praise god when he his father he said oh my lord when he oh what day was it that he made the trees and the vine and the fruit and he tasted it and it was good good wine Good Savior, good Redeemer, everything was good. I don't know if Jesus got down and he dropped any foot, but I knew he was part of it. Praise the Lord. I'm not stopping you. I'm not questioning you, but remember the true light. Now let's come to the end now. Well, I've talked to many things and I said 40 minutes, but let's come to the end. It's not over yet. Here's my book. With, I haven't even opened it with all my notes. And you know how long it took me to write these notes all last night and putting it down and taking it up and asking why Sadie chose me for today. Praise the Lord. I am, and I'm not going to, don't worry. But I want to show you something. Let's go to Revelations. Revelations. Um, I think it's Revelation 21 or 22. <coughs> This is me. I told you Revelation. But let me look at Hebrews. The sun is the radiance of God's glory. And the exact expression of his being. Just sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification, purification for sin, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Praise God. See what I'm telling you is fruitful. I'm not making it up. The son that is Jesus. Hebrews express the son of God. Read it for yourself. Praise God. He's contrasting the son of God. Jesus with the old Levitical law system. Thou shalt do this. Thou shalt do that. No, when you marry the Son of God, you're in a love relationship. Praise God, you don't have to be, you know, he's this and I, can't, can I do this? You're in a relationship of grace through faith and salvation and love. Praise God. Even if the law said you must walk a mile, grace said I will walk 10 miles with you, Jesus. And become a prisoner of his love. And become somebody, uh, Paul said, I am a bond servant. Paul expressed it this way. I am a slave to Jesus Christ. Now the Lord didn't say you must be a slave. But Paul, when he felt the grace of God, when he felt the liberating power of the spirit and the joy of the light of God, he said, I'm a slave, I'm a bond servant. Praise God. Before 
God. This is what I'm talking about. This is what many, oh God, Christians over the ages have found that is in their heart. That, oh yes, Lord. Yes, the law said I shall not do this. But Lord, I will do exceedingly more and abundantly more than you ask me to do because I'm in love with you and because your spirit Oh, the spirit of power, the spirit of love, the spirit of self-control, self-control. I've got to mention self-control at this time of the year. Those on Zoom and those here must know that there's a God who gives us self-control. So you can hold it together, man. You can put it together. You have the capabilities, praise God, to be somebody and something that can make a choice that lasts. A choice that won't make you ashamed in the morning. That won't make you ashamed because of what you've done and what you regret doing and saying. I'm a prisoner. I'm a slave of Jesus. Now let's go back to what I was going to do. Praise the Lord. Somebody glorify God with me. Don't get sad on me now. I'm finishing, man. Praise God. In Revelation... Just a moment. Revelation 22, verse 2. It's so important, so I'll turn to it. And really, this is my... That's, I'm finishing now, so I'm behaving myself. Revelation 22. Revelation 22, verse 2. Um, and he showed me a pure, uh, just a moment. In the middle of its streets and on either side of the river was a tree of life. Praise God. <laughs> My glasses are failing me. <laughs> and on either side of the river was a tree of life which bore 12 fruits which with each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it and his servant shall serve him. They shall see his face and his name shall be in their forehead. There shall be no night there. Come on somebody. What have I been saying? These words are faithful and true. I'm not making them up. Read it for yourself. This is the word of God. Praise God. There is no darkness in it at all. Praise be unto God. This is true. If you don't remember anything, I'm knocking. I want to make a point for those who are sleeping, those who are not enough. Those, these words are faithful and true. Praise be unto God. Remember this if you don't remember my faith. Praise the Lord. And his name shall be on their forehead. There shall be no night, no darkness. They need no lamp, nor light of the sun. Who was it that said we couldn't exist, we can't exist on this earth because we'd freeze over if the sun, sh if the sun stopped shining? Here it is. Praise God. God will be and God is our light. There's a light above the sun. There's a light brighter, deeper. Praise be unto God. In his presence there's warmth, joy, Happiness and light. Let me just finish this. Praise the Lord. They need no lamp nor light of the sun, for the Lord gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Then he said to me, These words are faithful and true, and the Lord God of the Holy Prophet sent his angel to show his servant the things which must shortly take place. These words are faithful and true. These words are fit. Forgive me for repeating it, but I suffer from lack of uh, from lack of memory, and when I want to remember bad things, I remember them and go over them, and I remember bad things, things that are pleasurable. I remember them, but the good things of God, I easily forget them, and they slip away. You know that's how I'm made up. So let's read it again for the last time. Then he said, these words are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the Holy Prophet sent his angel to show his servant the things which must shortly take place. 
Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the word of the prophecy of this book. Now the last one is verse 22. The very last one. Then I'm going to close the book and close my notes. Praise be unto God. <coughs> um, let me see. We worship the Lord. But I saw no temple in it. This is, sorry, 21, 22. Revelations 21, 22. The glory of the new Jerusalem. The glory of God in the new Jerusalem. I've, I've, I've retitled it. But I saw no temple in it. And the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The, the city had no need for of the sun or the moon to shine in it. For the glory of God illuminated it. The Lamb is its light, and the nations of those who are saved shall walk in its light, and the kings of the earth bring their glory and honor into it. Its gate shall not be shut at all by day, and in brackets, there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it, but there shall be no mean, by no means enter into it anything that defiles or cause an abom abomination or a lie but only those who are written in the Lamb Book of Life. So let's look at it. God is the glory of that city. Jesus the Lamb is the light. No need for sun, no need for the moon, no need for any external forces, no need for any external light. Praise God. God and Jesus will shine in that city. And he said the nation shall bring the glory. Now this is my last point. What are you bringing? What is your gift? What are you bringing to the Lamb? What is your gift? He's given us a light. He's given us everything that makes us prosper. What are you going to carry? The Bible said, the kings of the earth, that you, that you, you're the priests, you're the kings. You pray. One time we were, we were vagabonds. We, we were slaves, but now you're saved. What are you going to bring into that city? What is your contribution? I'm not going to, praise the Lord, make any um, thing about this, you know, and any false pretenses. Sister Olive has gone home. Sister Olive Thompson, she, you would know her. She sits over there, and you would know her, hallelujah. It's a scream and a shout and a joyful praise, as you all remember. She's brought her glory. She's taken her glory into that city. Praise God, waiting for the day when we arrive. You know, that's all that's holding back now. We have to be there as well. She's taken it. She can't add anything. And we just remember her. We remember her shout. We remember her praise. Those who visit her, remember who. She never could stop saying praise God. You went into the house on the flat and it was praise the Lord. She talked about the sadness in her life and the bad experience. And I had a wonderful psalm that, uh, from Psalm oh, 88, read it when you get home, of the, the, the challenge that comes in a Christian life, the ups and down, but she held on to the end. She held on and brought the glory of the light of God with her into glory. Brethren, it's no, loved ones, <coughs> blessed loved ones, you belong to God, you're not my, you're my brethren, but you, the it's Jesus who saved you. Praise God. I admonish you, but I can't tell you off. Praise God. I can say that that action is wrong or this action. But you belong to Christ. It's him that you're going to stand before on that judgment day. And you read it just. I've done my part to remind you of the glory of God. That the word of God said, we're going to bring something with us. The fearful, the unbelieving the cowardly. He said they have no part in the kingdom of God. 
Imagine this, the joy of going into a new year. But imagine the joy of not entering to a new year, but entering to the kingdom of God. Finally, finally, we're going there where the light of God illuminates the place. Nothing can hide from him. Let me just end because I'll just keep going on and on and on. I haven't even done my notes, this one. And there's another one. But it just goes on. It's just beautiful. But we're going to just stand and say, I don't know if you know this, Jesus, the light of the world. I'm going to invite everyone who feels that they need, praise God, and you, you might be falling short of that light. You might not be quite there. You know, the light hasn't penetrated. The light isn't coming out. There is darkness inside. It could be darkness from external forces that have tripped you up, that have caused you to stumble, and you still haven't regained your good um, posture and your good walk with God because the enemy has tripped you up. But that will not, that excuse will not stand when you stand before God because he's given you every opportunity to make it right. Somebody, somebody, I'm going to make an altar call. It's a call for unsaved. It's a call for those who have not made a, a choice to follow God. If you're on the internet, if you're on Zoom, if you're somewhere else, you can kneel down where you are. If you can't kneel, praise God, you can bow your head and you can say, come into my life, Jesus. This is a new day. This is a new year. I want to serve you, my God. I want to serve you like Paul. I want to surrender everything. I have seen the light. I have seen Jesus Christ. I have heard how he died for me on Calvary. And I want to make a change at the new year. Worship leaders, do you know this one? The, no? All ye saints of proclaim Jesus, the light of the world. Send the light. Send the light. The blessed gospel light. Let it shine. I'm going to read you and make another altar call. Somebody who wants us to pray with you. Somebody who wants to surrender their heart to Jesus at this special time. Come. The spirit and the bride say, Come. Come. Everything is ready and prepared. Is there someone who wants to say, Yes, I want to change my life? Is there a child of God who say, Father, I have stumbled, but you won't make me fall. Come, Lord. Come into my life, Lord. Come, brethren, let us pray with you. The altar is open. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Forevermore. Let's sing it again. Send the light, Somebody. the blessed the gospel come. light, let it shine, the says, come. from shore to come shore, shore. Don't send the light, Go to wait. the blessed Go gospel light, let it shine, shine. forevermore. I'm going to pray, giving God thanks for his word and for those, praise God, maybe on Zoom or somewhere on the internet who have maybe have prayed and asked Jesus to come into their lives, who have made a choice, an active choice to serve God, to turn from darkness into his life.
Is there somebody now who would hear in this congregation, who would honor God as he honors you and come to the altar? Praise the Lord. And the light, the blessed gospel light, let it shine from shore to shore. Send the light, the blessed gospel light, let it shine forevermore. Heavenly Father, we worship you and we thank you for your word. Thank you for every sentence, every word, my God, every letter. Thank you for the light of Jesus shining in our heart, mighty God, giving us, my God, the power, the authority to overcome this world of darkness. Thank you for every drop of your blood that was shed, my God, that redeemed us and gave us this wonderful salvation. Lord, as we come into a new year and approach it, my God, Father God, we thank you again. You have kept us. Thank you, my God, for remembering those who are bereaved, my God. Comfort those who are suffering, my God. As we give you thanks, Lord. Bless your name. We pray for those on Zoom and on the internet and YouTube. Father God, everyone that surrenders who say, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Father God, I repent. And ask your forgiveness as I believe on Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is seated at your right hand, praying and making intercession for me and the whole world. Thank you, Father God. And thank you for the word you've given me and the strength you've given me to deliver this wonderful word, my God. Teach me to be humble and to learn about you as I give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God, Sister Chantel. God bless you. Come on, let's give the man of God a big hand. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Blessed be his holy name. If ever a time we need a word, the unadulterated word of God, it is now. And we give God praise and glory for you, Reverend George, giving us the word in season and out of season. Bless his holy name. You probably heard in Reverend, in Reverend George's sermon, he spoke about our sister Olive Thompson, who have gone home to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. She served the Lord faithfully even to the very end. And we give God praise for her life. We give God glory for her. She served faithfully in this church and now she has gone home to her reward. We give God all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Thank you, Reverend George, for the precious word, a word in season and out of season. If ever a time we need to have made up minds, it is now. We never know when the angel of death will pass by us. We never know when. So we need to have our minds made up, focus upon the Lord Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God. It's the last day of the year. So many people are making vows and different things, but we need to keep our eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's our focus. He is our life. He is our strength. He is our hope. He's our everything. When everything else fails, and they will fail, Jesus is the answer. Jesus alone is the answer. He is the hope of earth and the joy of heaven. When we look at the world in the Middle East, the fighting that is going on, all these are the signs of the time showing us that the coming of the Lord is nigh. Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Are you ready? For the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we have been hearing that over and over and over again. And we see many people going through the gates of eternity. But when you go through those gates, will you have a safe landing on the other side? We live in serious times, my brother and sister. You heard the word of God from the man of God. Let us be ready. There are so many different lights, but there's only one light. One light that you need to focus on. And that is 
the Lord Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. Reverend George, we thank you for the word. Thank you for everyone who have come today. Thank you for our musicians who have joined us today. Thank you for the worship team. Thank you for you precious people coming into the house of God. Where else could we go in an age and time like this? Where else could you find comfort and 